Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat, where I talk to you about my Bath and Body Works collection, and I'm a Sensi consultant turned hobbyist. So today, I'm gonna to talk to you about my 10 favorite candles right now. The reason I say right now is because, you know, it's a usable product. I do burn, burn up my candles and finish them. I'm sorry about the noise. I do burn up my candles and I finish them. So it does rotate and change a little bit. I'm thinking about incorporating this video once a month, but I'm not sure. So if you hear noise in the background, it is spring break. My daughter's home, dog's inside. It's super windy outside. And for a big dog, he's really afraid of tumbleweeds and stuff. So <laughs> I brought him in the house because I didn't want him out there in the wind. So to get on with it, I'm gonna go over my 10 favorite candles right now. I have them in order of the ones I'm burning most often to the ones I'm burning least often, which is also kind of how my favorites go. And my daughter is arguing with the dog. First, I have Bubbly Rosé, and I forgot to write down the notes for this one, and I don't think they have them listed here on the candle but a lot of people are familiar with this one it came out in february i believe it is nice it's very bubbly very sweet i'm really loving it so i'm quite enjoying this candle it's only about part way burned but you know i've noticed some of my single wicks have the same amount of time in them as a three wicks so i've been using this on and off i've been using this the past week or so the next one we just put this out a little while ago I didn't realize that I had left it burning for so long. Uh, that's not a bad thing because I do like this fragrance. This is Unicorn Candy from Goose Creek and it's still like a little gelatinous there on the top. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to pour out any wax on accident. But I really, really love this candle. You know, at first I wasn't sure about Goose Creek but they kind of grew on me after a while. So I do like their fragrances. The notes for this one, the top notes are blue raspberry candied sugar. The mid notes are rock candy peach creme. And the bottom notes are wild currant and mixed berry. I do get a lot of that, a lot of the mixed berry in here and I'm getting a lot of like the sugary candied flavor. We've been burning this in the living room. I had to set, I had to change my setup for the living room for now, so I don't have anything in the kitchen, even though it's like the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room are all like one open concept kind of idea right there. But we got a new TV and I still wanted to be able to have something. There's not room right now on the table for a Scentsy warmer. So I do have my cage on the table with one burning. It's I'm more worried about the cord and the warmer being yanked off the table so by the cat running by. They don't usually go near the candles very much, but I do keep it in a cage just in case. That way nothing bad happens. But next, next is Pink Sands. And this one I actually started warming. I have a top down warmer for candles and I will be doing a video for that this week, I think. It started giving me some soot and I was sitting there looking and I was, I looked over and you could see the soot coming up out of it. So I stopped lighting it and now I've been warming it on the top down warmer and it's been doing really well. I didn't look up the notes on this and I don't think it has notes on here. It's just the pink sands from Yankee Candle. But this one is really good and I've had it for like well over a year. And I've been burning it on and off for about six months or so. And now that it's spring, I wanna burn it some more. Next is Goose Creek Hibiscus Beach. Let's see, did I write down the notes on this one? This is pineapple, hibiscus, plum, berry, and vanilla sands. On cold, I'm smelling a lot of the plum and berry and some of the vanilla, but when it's, I'm, I'm smelling the lighter like pineapple and hibiscus a little more when it's lit. And I really am enjoying this. This is nice and summery and I think it's sold out right now, but I want to get backups of it. Let me put it right in front of my face so you can see it. <laughs> Next is Juicy Watermelon, which is one of the single wicks that I got from Walmart. And in my previous video, I don't think very many people have watched it yet. Um, these have 
pretty, this is kind of a little powerhouse. I was pretty surprised by it. I do need to trim the wick on this one. I've only burned it once or twice, but it hasn't gone down that much, but it, it sure has, it has a lot for $3. It has a lot of punch to it. I have it here in the office and fragrance the whole room. So it's really, really nice. Um, next is Positively Sweet, which is Bath and Body Works. Oh, I forgot to tell you the notes on the watermelon, oops. Watermelon notes are watermelon, sweet cantaloupe, and honeydew. It's very melony fragrance, and it's mostly mainly watermelon, but you could pick up a little bit on the sweet cantaloupe and the honeydew. The next one is Positively Sweet from Bath & Body Works. This is a three wick. The notes are rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherry. There is a slight cherry note to this, which I've been enjoying because a lot of them say they have cherry and I'm not really smelling it. I do smell not really the butterscotch, but a lot of the rich chocolate. So this is a good one for all the gourmand lovers out there. I don't know if they still have these in store or online, but this is actually really a delicious candle if you like those chocolate scents. Next is toasted coconut eclair. <laughs> This smells like Mounds candy, like a Mounds candy bar. It's fresh baked donut, milk chocolate frosting, and toasted coconut flakes. It's milk chocolate and coconut. I've, I, I've never noticed like a donut to it. Maybe when I get to the bottom, it's been burned a little bit. Um, this smells, it smells just like, I almost said an almond joy, it smells just like a Mounds bar. The dog sit is on the couch and the dog keeps trying to jump up there and she's getting mad at him. <clears throat> Next is watermelon lemonade. This one is cool watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. I do find a slight lemon to it, but it's mostly just watermelon, which is really nice. It's great for summer or spring. I've really been enjoying this one and I'm about halfway finished. I had this for a while in the bathroom I think I switched them out and I might be doing that today in my office. I don't know. Next is Pink Fairy Gumdrop. This one reminds me of Sugar from Scentsy. It is sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton, and sprinkles of sprinkle of fairy dust. So I don't know what fairy, du fairy dust is supposed to smell like, but this smells like really, really, really sugary. It reminds me kind of of the spray pink sugar if you've ever smelled that one <laughs> she's dragging her off the couch by her foot <laughs> this poor child he's really doing a number on her um this is a very very sweet fragrance um think pink chiffon uh you know, pink sugar or something along that line. This is a really sweet candle, but I like it. And I think it's actually, to me, it's more of a springy scent than it would be a winter scent, but that's just my opinion. And last but not least, I was actually burning this one early this, early, early this morning. And my office is strawberry daiquiri. Notes are frozen strawberries, sweet, simple syrup, and shots of tropical rum. So the number one I'm smelling, which is ob kind of obvious, is the strawberry daiquiri. And I'm not really smelling like rum or simple syrup. This is just like, this smells almost like strawberry soda. It's got that type of strawberry in it. It's not bad. I don't know if I would probably buy this again. I'd, I'm gonna wait until I burn it down and see. It is a good fragrance if you do like that really authentic strawberry to it. it it's nice. But I think that is all that I've got right now. And I'm gonna go try to stop my children from killing each other. <laughs> he took her pillow. Oh boy. All right, well, that is everything for today. And I will be coming at you tomorrow with some more Bath & Body Works content. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.